Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So, as you guys know, we got a whole bunch of new vehicles with the Casino Heist DLC, and now that we got some clear weather, I could do some more testing. So, I wanted to bring you guys a review on the Lampadari Komoda. All right, the Komoda Dragon, maybe? <laughs> nah, not really. Uh, so yeah, we'll talk about the performance customization. All that good stuff. It is in the sports class category. All right, so it's a sports vehicle. Trade price at one million two hundred seventy-five thousand, or a buy it now price of one million seven hundred thousand dollars. All right, so you know, get your heist done. All that good stuff. Make sure you use the vehicle or whatever unlocks that you can get that and knock it out. All right. So with the customization, there's a lot of customization with this vehicle. I mean, a tremendous amount. Look at that front bumpers. There's 13 different styles to choose from with the rear bumpers. Uh, you have several styles to choose from as well. With your exhaust, you have five different options. The hoods, you have 18 different options with the hoods. Now, basically, it's, you know, the secondary, primary, and the carbon version of the different styles, but still a lot of different customizable options. 11 different liveries. The liveries look really nice in this vehicle as well. So many cool options with the paint schemes, with the liveries. I like that a lot. Got a couple of different mirror options. Always nice to have that. Mud guards on this vehicle as well. You can add some mud guards on there. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of vehicles have that option. Uh, with your colors right there, you get your primary, secondary, whatever you switch up. Of course, your uh, crew emblem. You've got 12 different roofs. And of course, anytime you have an air scoop on the roof, you got to add that. You have 19 different skirts. I don't think there's a vehicle in the game that has more skirt options than the Komoda. I, I mean, I may be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's that seems like a lot. I haven't seen a vehicle have that many in a long time. 25 different spoilers. I mean, that is sick. So really cool options right there. There's something for everybody, whether you're a ricer, traditional, minimalist, whatever. It's there for you, so really cool. Suspension options. I would have liked to see the tires get cambered out just a little bit. No big deal, though. Move on to the performance. So the Komoda is just average, man. Um, now, the sports class is so heavy. There is like 60 cars in there or something like something crazy like that, right? So this guy, it, it really doesn't stand out. You're not going to win a lot of races with this vehicle. Uh, straight line or around a track. It's a very good car to race with, though. It's very fun. It's it's stable. It's not too crazy. And it's it's enjoyable to race with. Now, if you have a bunch of cars that are in this kind of you know category, like in the middle of the road, you'll be fine. But that's what this vehicle is. It's just a middle of the road. Not going to win a lot of races. Just really cool for customization. Do you have to have it? No. Is it cool to have for your collection? Absolutely. It's another cool four-door vehicle. So nothing wrong with that at all, man. Thank you all so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Make sure you smash. I mean, smash that like button. You guys stay dangerous. See you next one. Peace out. Yeah.